Hello. We are here building another pondless waterfall. This one is in August 2021. Not a huge amount of time to film as ever, but for most of our prospective clients, what they're looking to see is a rough guide as to how we build these things, but more importantly, the end result. So uh, that's what it's really all about for us, showing prospective clients the end product. There wasn't a huge amount of room uh, on this particular one. We were building out of quite a narrow corner, so that very much uh, defined the shape and size of this installation. We actually bought in about 250 bags of soil on this one. Uh, because the ground sloped away from the house, we needed it to obviously be higher than the surrounding ground so the waterfall looked natural and would slope down towards the house. Very high quality un underlay we're using here and liner, British made. We do a double layer of underlay, which is commercial grade underlay and commercial grade overlay over the top of that liner. So it's pretty much bomb proof. <laughs> Basically what we're doing there is constructing the reservoir which we've now started to rock in. It's important to have a large reservoir otherwise uh, the clients end up constantly having to top, top it up. We don't want that. We spend a lot of time placing each rock. It's very important to us to get a natural look. These are limestone but it's a very durable sort of limestone. It's not going to dissolve or anything like that. Had to bring everything by hand in on this one. That was quite a lot of backbreaking work. Probably about six tons of material. And we're just filling the reservoir only just to get the liner nice and uh, stretched into place. Yes, yeah, so I'll put a bit of liner down in that uh, stream over there. I think that's going to be the best way to raise. Reason. You know like in your arm, if you move like individual fingers, like a different part of it moves. I've never noticed that. Right. Okay. Uh, did you hear what I said about big liners? No. Nah. Everything we do, right down to the type of hose, is the highest possible quality. We want these things to be durable as heck. Yeah. Line the back, Richard. Here I'm just creating what's called a bib liner. This is where we want to raise the water level slightly in one of the pools. We do this with foam and then we overlay it with some underlay, if that makes sense, so that the water level can be slightly raised. There's a reason I did that on this one, it was so that the reservoir had as much water in it as possible, we weren't draining it every time we turned the pump on. I'm using foam here in order to direct the water over the rocks and not under them. Probably the bit I enjoy the least is edge work. It takes me quite a long time, like three days, to get the edges really solid and tucked in. Pretty tedious, to be honest. Hello, Dan, you're on the radio. Nope. Zach's in Redbridge. Hi, Zach. We did all the planting on this one, both um, aquatic planting and terrestrial land planting. Um, the area was kind of 
more than 50% shaded during the day, so we had to take account of that with the planting. in, testing, uh, drain it down, hoover it out, clean the water, do this quite a few times. We set an overflow so that if you get heavy rain the water will slowly drain out into one place. Here, here again, edge work. One of the areas I come across with other uh, builders that have built these things is they don't pay enough attention to detail to the edges. They can cause long-term problems. Here's Benjamin, my son, doing, doing most of the planting. I think he did a really good job. Planting some hebes there and some thyme. We tend to plant the structural plants and then any flowers clients can come in with later because flowers are very much personal for them. Just cleaning up after ourselves. And here is the finished beast. As I say, we didn't have lots of width on this one, but I think we got the best bang for the buck, given the space available. And I'm really, really pleased with it. So, if you would like us to come and install one for yourself, contact us via the website.